This is the Rivian R1T, the all electric truck from Rivian. I didn't think I'd like this vehicle as much as I do. I've had it for a couple months now and man, it's just so much fun. So I wanted to do a little car review and car vlog today for you guys. Here we go. First thing on the to-do list is to get a car wash because the truck's looking a little muddy. And if I want to get any outside shots, I want it to look nice and shiny for the camera. So that's step one. Step two, I want to go to the official Rivian charging station. I haven't been there yet, even though I've had this car for a while and I want to check it out. I don't necessarily need like a big charge on the battery, but I think it'd be fun to check it out and see what the experience is like. Cause they have 240 miles left on the battery. So I don't need a big charge. One thing that's cool is this car has car wash mode. So I'll turn it on. Nice. <laughs> We're pulling it up to the car wash. <sighs> now, one thing that was difficult is putting this car in neutral for some reason. I had to practice it a couple times cause it's not normal. Okay. Okay, neutral. And what's fun about car washes in this car is the whole roof is glass, so you get to see the whole show. Wow. Yay, fun colors. Aha. Yay, more, whoa, fun colors. Red hot colors. Okay, car wash mode off. Pretty easy. It's interesting that this McDonald's actually has a charger. So if I wanted, I could charge up here, but I don't want to use the make fast charge. I'm going to the Rivian charger. I do have a system update I got to do, but I'm not going to do that now. Why is the, <laughs> the sun is just so bad today. <sighs> That is one interesting thing about electric cars is you can get updates just sort of like over the internet and it changes a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll just show you some of the menu stuff. It's because it's pretty cool. So before there was another option down here and then they moved it over here to a swipe. So now you have all your controls here for like opening the charger, uh, lights and stuff like that. And that's where I went to go for a car wash mode. And there's other stuff in here. Oops, no, not again. Um, there's the pet mode. Um, here's the drive modes, which I think is really fun. So we've got one, two, three, four, five different drive modes. There's normal, there's sport, there's snow mode. There's, I don't know what this is, off-road, not going off-roading. And then what's this? Another off-road. But anyways, they change different things. Sport mode is obviously really fun. <laughs> so I'll do that. And the, the car is going down. And when you're in sport mode, it changes how much battery life you have. So I was like, what was I? I was like at 240 earlier. Now it's at 216. So I'll leave it in sport mode for now. The other thing is, where are we? <laughs> this is a giant map. And what I want to do is I wanna to go to Rivian Networks. You can look, basically search for chargers and there should be, wait, what the heck? Oh, my whole map switched. Okay, there's one down here. I haven't been there yet and that's where I want to go there. It says there's two available, let's do it. So when you put it in, it calculates the route and then prepare, right then turn you, right. you got it. It prepares the battery for charging as well, which is really nice. <sighs> So let's go do that. Let's go get this baby charged up and see how the car wash did. I can already see a couple of spots that don't look clean. <laughs> We're getting on the highway. I'm still in sport mode. Gotta drive around in sport mode. Are you kidding me? If you haven't noticed, this car is really quiet as well. I'm about to get on the highway. I'm going 60 miles an hour and you can hear just fine. The audio is great. It's almost 60 degrees. And guess what? Tomorrow is Easter. I really like the dashboard setup. You've got your speed on the right. You've got your car and all of the 
AI cars in the middle, and then you have your navigation on the left. So it's a like, good little setup there. Almost to the charger. And while I'm stopped here, the H means hold, which means I don't have to push on the brakes at all. In fact, you don't have to use the brakes hardly at all in this car. It brakes by itself. And then when it comes to a stop, it holds by itself. Okay. I'm in a not... quarter mile, turn left. Okay. I have never been down here to these chargers before. Department of Wildlife? Turn left. Oh. Then turn left. Turn left. Oh, turn ha right. ha. I found them. Oh, this is crazy. Turn right. They're literally. Your destination will be Stop on the left. talking. Your destination okay. is on the left. Okay. Yes, I see it. They're at the Division of Wildlife. There they are. Focus, you. The Rivian Chargers. There's two of them. I guess we'll see how this works. Do you just. Hmm. <laughs> I usually just charge in my house. So I basically have this setup, this white Rivian charger. It's like in my house, but I wanted to come to one out in the wild. Wait, what? There's another, wait a minute. According to my map, there's another charger over here. Oh, the Hunter Education Building. Someone's there. Okay, here's what happens. So you swipe this way. Oh, I didn't, I'm not in park. That's important. Okay. So I push this button and it opens up the charging port. So I'll show you. Three, two, one, button. Aha! See, there's the charger right there. Oh, it's authorizing. Can you see that? Starting. Yes. That's another cool feature. This turns green when it's charging. Okay. Looking nice and shiny now. Oh, still got a lot of chicken hay back here. It's calculating. I'm at 71%. Oh, no, I don't want to update. Do you think if it change in different modes if it charges differently? Oh. I can't change it. Why does it say it's gonna take so long? Okay, so while this is charging, let's have a quick little gander at the inside because there's some cool stuff. If you watched our car sleepover video on Jace 2 this is the vehicle that Justin got. I just didn't say it was mine in that video, but here it is. <laughs> so you might've already seen some of the features in that video, but one of them, which is kind of cool. It's right back here. So the center console here folds down and you've got cup holders for the passengers. So my kids use this all the time. And then you can open this up and, ooh, should probably clean that. <laughs> it opens up a little hole so you can go in the storage tank in the back, the gear tunnel let's say on a road trip, you could have your cooler back here because there is power. So you could have a powered cooler. I don't know. And you reach back there to get an ice cold beverage and some snacks and close it up. Ah, and you're good to go. Another fun random feature is right down here under the center console is a portable speaker. This is fun. I haven't used it yet because I haven't really needed to, but I think when you slide it back in its slot, it charges by itself. Speaking of weird features, again, also inside the door here, I know you can't see it very well, but right here in the door, click this button and out pops a flashlight. Ah, where's the off button? Okay. Just in case you're out in the dark, again, if you're camping, doing whatever, I don't know why this is going so slow. I did a charge at McDonald's one time and it was so much faster. I've been here like five minutes and I've only added one mile. Something suspicious. <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts on electric vehicles? I had a truck before. I think trucks are awesome. I love them. And I've always wanted to get an electric vehicle. So you take these two things and you merge them into one 
cool vehicle. So this is the gear tunnel. So you hit this button and it opens up and you have like storage under here. What, no way. I forgot I had a skateboard in here and it can hold 250 pounds. So I can stand on here. So such a fun setup. Speaking of fun setups, you didn't think you were gonna get a skateboard vlog today, but I mean, why not? I got the gear. There's actually a skate park just across the street. I was definitely not even planning this, but we want to go to the skate park. That was 29 cents. Come on, let's just, we gotta go send it at the skate park. I didn't even know I had the skateboard in my car. We'll do a couple tricks. It'll be so fun. I haven't been skateboarding in probably years. And the only reason I have a skateboard in my car is because we just finished a skateboard video at work. It's for JSU Studios. super fun. Dang it. Dang it. not more than one person here. Like, why is this guy filming himself do the worst ollie I've ever seen? <laughs> That's fine. That's it, I'm making a goal. I'm gonna learn how to kickflip this year. Better yet, I'm gonna land a heel flip this year, okay? I've got a little bit of a straight road here and I'm still in sport mode. <laughs> so, I'll just do a quick boost. Here we go. And three, two, one, ignition. I don't think that'll never not be fun. Oh, here comes another one. Okay, we got it straight away here. Okay, ready? We're not, we're not starting at zero this time, so I'm starting at 20, but still. And ignition. Whoa! The first time I did it with Mary in the car, she screamed at me. There's another Rivian. That's the R1S, the SUV model. I'm gonna profile shot here. Oh, huh? Oh, he just waved. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show you all the at-home charging setup. So first of all, I'm gonna make sure you park in here correctly. See, this is basically the same Rivian charging setup that we were just at, but in my garage. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. that's another nice thing I really like about the Rivian is it fits perfectly in the garage. This is a standard two car garage and there's plenty of space up front here to walk around and the garage door closes. So it's perfect. Uh, but I think that's it for the vlog. The first Rivian car vlog, hopefully this summer. I don't know, this is just, it's been a fun vlog. It's just, it's fun to just grab the camera, throw it in the car, randomly find your skateboard in the back, just stuff like that. So hopefully this summer we can do a lot of fun stuff, but thanks for watching.